Hey guys, Peter over here. So the clips that you are about to watch, the whole compilation, is one of my most popular scammer videos. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, you can take this off and then you can see I didn't even want to take it out of the inside box. And my intention would be to come back and buy it back from you. Okay. Well, it's open oh, this Oh, I side. see. I didn't see that because I didn't open it. <laughs> I didn't want to mess with it. Let's see. And we got newspaper. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my god. Well, better newspaper than bricks. Well, that's really interesting. Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay. And this newspaper is from 2008, so it's been sitting here for over 11 years. Well, it was in a storage okay. thing. And, uh, oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, that's why I like to check everything, well, you know? Well, I would have taken, if I would, I would have saved myself a trip had I taken it. I, I thought it was totally sealed. Yeah. So. Well, you still want it or is it garbage? I mean, uh, I'll just take it home okay. and, and use it for... I'll put it in the recycle. I, I don't know that, because I really just need to get to the first, but this is no expiration date, and I have, I actually have $2,000 worth of them, but I brought, I have a couple with me. Okay. Is there any way... So this is a $100 gift card? It's a $100 gift card, and there's no expiration on it. It's worth $100 on okay. any reservation. So um, we pay 50% of gift cards. 50%? So you okay. would get this $50 from me. $50, mm -hmm. okay. Um, would you, can I do one then? Yeah, sure you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can run it really quick and I'll... All right. Now, when you, when you scratch it, it... I'm not going to scratch okay. anything. Okay, because then it, it's only good for six months. Uh, when you actually start, try to use it. All right, so, so this is no good. It says card not accepted. Oh. As soon as no. I run the strip, it tells me that it's no good. Well, that's because you have to call American and you have to scratch off the, the thing. See, it's, it, okay. Because it says protect this card like cash. Right. So I would think it has a cash value. Yeah, once you give them the PIN number under these, you have to scratch that off and then they authenticate it with the PIN number and then it's as good as cash when you're getting tickets. So that's the only way uh, it's used. Well, not necessarily true. The way they put the strip on here works like a credit card as well. If I run it through my machine, I don't have to scratch anything. It would just ring up. That's okay. kind of like any gift card kind well, of visa that works. Okay, okay. so, all right, well, Sorry. at least I, I mm -hmm. know. Okay, um, I will see. Okay, I, I'll see what kind of, all right, just like as an example, I'm trying to think of what a train, um, I know, I don't know what. I just have you would to have to bring them by, yeah, yeah, so I can look okay. up the models. You know, it's okay. for me to tell you any prices just like that. It it, it could be something for five dollars, yeah. or or there could be an engine worth you know one hundred and fifty dollars. You know, so mm -hmm. the spread is so big. Right. So basically, though, on an item, you see what the retail is and what do you loan or what depends on the condition is it of, like of the item as well. Usually about fifty percent. Right. If it's a little bit beat up, maybe less. If it's very very good condition, maybe a little bit more. But yeah, on average, okay. about half. About half. Okay, yes. that's what I assumed, but I yeah. wanted to double check. Okay. Um, and sorry about the newspaper. Oh my God! I. I don't know how that happened. I don't know yeah. who did that. Why would we do that? So did you guys see what just happened here? Now, she just went outside. She says she has uh, some Movado watches that she wants to bring in. What a, what a scam artist, classic. We'll see what she brings in. Kind of curious now. Unbelievable, huh? That's why this job is never boring. Let me ask you this, where are you getting all this, like, Movado watches and stuff? Well, I've had them. I mean, it's, it's not stolen, if that's what you're getting. Yeah. It's also not real, but... Oh, it's not. Oh, mm, It's okay. not a Movado watch. 
Well, First we thing, bought we bought it at Movado in California at a Movado retail uh, outlet. So maybe that's why it's not real. But I bought if it you at bought Movado. It, if you bought it at a real Movado retail store, why why not wouldn't a retail, it be a retail an outlet? Actually, well, even an outlet, it would be a real Movado watch. Yeah. So and it's not real. Well, it's not. Okay. No, first of all, the weight is not there. The size of this watch is not there. Okay. Their name I, is I not on the back. I can you know? actually tell you actually no? where I bought it. It's, yeah. it's at an outlet mall in California. What else we got here? A fossil? Uh, uh, well, no, that's actually a knife inside. Oh, it's a knife. I guess I I should go back to Mavado and say, how would you sell me um, counterfeit? Yeah, it's it's stamped on a bank that it's a 10 karat gold, white gold, but it looks to me like it's completely plated too. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna pass on everything. That you yeah, got here. that's I'm fine. sorry. No, that's okay. I, I'm really upset about this though because we got it at an outlet mall in yeah. California. I'm upset have, too because I like to buy Movados because they sell good before Christmas, but. Well, the thing is, we got it at an outlet store that says Movado on it. It's um, on the 10 going from uh, Corona, California to. No. Palm Springs, and I can't, it starts with an E or something, I can't remember the name of the, it's a ma major, oh, no, no, not Camarillo, that's somewhere else. Sorry, hon, I'm, I'm not going to buy anything from you today, so, okay. but. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm curious about the Movado. You said it doesn't have any of the right markings on no, it? No, no. No, it, it doesn't have, um. The right lettering when it says made um, made in Switzerland, made in Swiss. Mm -hmm. On a back cover, it doesn't say Movado or anything when it should. The weight of it is like wrong. wrong. Okay. I mean, the watch doesn't weigh hardly anything. You right. know? So okay. it's a complete knockoff. Wow. Yeah. So they get away with that. Okay, that's fine. Well, I, yeah. No. I'm very I, surprised if it was a real Movado store. Well, they it was would a do Movado that. outlet store at a very major uh, outlet center in okay. California. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Man, isn't that amazing? I can tell you exactly where I got it. It was a resale or uh, outlet in California. Uh, <laughs> like, okay. in, in California. Yeah. <laughs> right off ten. Uh, maybe it was more like a flea market stand. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. I just have the box in the car with no paperwork. Um, can we? Do you want me to get the Xfinity number and you could just call and I could go through the process of getting the um serial number? Well. I don't need a serial number. The EMI number is right here. Oh, okay. By pressing that button, I can get into it. But I will go through the motion, and I can see uh -huh. later how many gigs is going to be. Oh, okay. That's but if fine. we, when we call Xfinity, uh -huh. what I need to find out if the phone is just clear and ready to be activated. That's the biggest oh, thing. Okay. Since like this is a 12, this yeah. is like a month old phone. They right. just came out with a 12. Mm -hmm. So I need to know if it's clear, meaning. Mm -hmm that anybody can activate and do you have a contract on it? But you're okay. telling me that you bought this phone outright? Yeah, like okay. I paid that off there. Okay, so you're saying you, you, you change now for different phone? Why, why are you selling this phone? Why? I just want some kind of like, I was I figured I would sell it online, but I mean, I just figured I would try to come up here. I went no, no, to... No, I'm saying why are you selling? Is there something wrong with the phone or... No, not at all. Just the fact that now I have two phones and me and my boyfriend broke up and I am not interested in having it. So I figured I would try... I went up to that eco, whatever the machine is thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. But because it's so new, they won't even take it. Mm. So they said like... I think they said that this phone's too new. Um, come back or... Whatever the heck it says. I didn't look online though because you can get like an appraisal for it. Right. I just figured I'd try. I know I sold my iPhone X 11 to the place in McHenry when I got the new one. But I just put it on credit. Oh, it's either X or 11. Oh, well. No iPhone X, X 11. X then maybe. I don't X know. X is not. It's, it was just that the generation ten. of them. I have my boyfriend come in there with me because it's under his name, the account, but he'll come inside. Well then he needs to talk. If this if this is under his name, they won't even let you talk so about this phone. Doing, 
he right. has to do it. Okay, Whoever is on the phone, that's the person who has to talk to Xfinity. So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Could you write down the number at least okay. so I can get him to start calling it about? then or whatever? Is he here? Yeah, he's in the parking lot. He's parked. Mm -hmm. I'll just have him call it on his phone. It's under his name to email. clear it. But it, I will I have to talk so to that person later that no, no, he's fine. talking yeah, yeah, yeah. on Xfinity to yeah, tell me so. that it's clear, yeah, you know? No, I get that, yeah. Uh, so have him start the process, get on the account, and then have them talk okay. to you to clear it. No, it's yep. fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's probably the most, the biggest scam that people try to do on us here in the shop is sell us phones that are still under contract. Um, those phones are worthless. We can't do anything with them. Even if they clear out, like she brought this phone in, cleared it, right? She went through the motion, cleared the iCloud, basically put the phone to uh, factory reset but that doesn't mean anything that the phone is ready to go right so when i go in and check emi number in a database it will tell me if the phone is still activated or not um, this phone was for xfinity not very popular network to be on from the beginning with i mean it's just xfin not many people want to be on xfinity verizon t-mobile um, AT&T, those, the phones that people want. So as soon as I started talking to her, that I'm going to have to verify and call Xfinity. She changes the story. All of a sudden, the phone is not hers. It's her boyfriend's. He's in a car. Um, and I tell her, you know, he's going to have to call, so he better come in. And of course, she goes out, never comes back. What does that tell me? Phone is one month old. She bought it on contract. Um, never paid it off trying to run typical, you know, scam. So, what's up, buddy? All right, let's try these first. Okay. So we can work out. What do you guys got? Coach bag and a Louie. And a cab recorder. Try to get my girlfriend out of jail. Well, this is not a coach bag. It's Gucci. Oh, that's, that's a Gucci, a Gucci bag. Yeah, Gucci bag. My bad. It's even better, right? Yeah, even better. That's Way real, better. This, this real beer? Huh? Is that real beer? Yes, it is. What do you know about, oh, this is yours? Yeah, this is a cat okay. quarter, so if, if you take them or not. Okay. What do you know about these bags? This one is real. Yeah. Okay, but it's pretty used up. I'm going to pass. This is a complete knockoff. So Get I'm out of here. Yeah. Can't be. Everything about it, man. All the stitching. First of all. All this has to be lining up when they do it, okay? These two are not right. supposed to be yeah. next to each other. The zipper is wrong. Um, all this peeling that is happening here, that's just painted. That should be a le real letter, the finish. Yeah, it's just... Do you not even interested in the Gucci bag? No. No. It's a camcorder. Looks like she should be sitting <laughs> Another day or two. Yeah, silver, all you're gonna get from us is just the weight. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't so. have no problem with it. I need all the cash I can get. I don't think goodwill takes you anymore, but I think savers. Hmm. What do you want to get out of the camcorder? Uh, 100 bucks? 25 bucks, man. 25 bucks? It's a high eight, man. This is 20 years old. I mean, I'll take it, man. It doesn't matter. So, if you want to do that, no. if you want on the silver, you got six bucks. Yeah, I'll take it. So, do right, you have ID on you? Yeah. So I can write you up. Thank you. 20, 30. One. Thanks, man. So what's the story with these jackets? Are these men's? These are all these, men's, These right? are all men's. I bought them for myself. They're just a little too short. So okay. like, if I wear any shirt underneath it, it just pokes out. Now, I mean, I, I, I see they all have the tags. So what, you, you bought them and you never wanted, I mean. Never wanted to wear them, no. I didn't pay full price for them like that. So what's the story with this Chinese writing on it? I'm not sure. Hmm. I bought these all separately online, so 
Made in China, kind of letter specialist. To be honest, I'm not, I mean, I'm very familiar overall with Coach, with, with you know, with their bags and wallets, you know, for yeah. many, many years. So all these three are like the same style? Yeah, they're the same model. This one's, I like this one's color the best, I think. It's just a shame they don't fit me very well. A little bit concerned with these. I'm, what are you trying to get out of them? I mean, I see ridiculous, you know, suggested retail price of eleven $1 hundred dollars on these. I mean, usually they do that, and then you know these jackets sell for four or five hundred bucks. You know, if I could get like two hundred for these two, maybe. I don't know how much. How much do you think you can get out of it? Because I know you take, you give half of what you can get for yeah. it. If I could get like 200 for these two, and I paid a little bit more for this one, so I'm not even sure. My concern is if they're even legit, Coach. Yeah. This is the very first one. This is all that's sold, so we don't know. You know, I, I do have a little concern about these, you know? Looking at the stitching, mm -hmm. when Coach does stuff, even though they've been doing stuff massively now, but their stuff is perfect. I mean, look, look at all this. It, it just doesn't look right. Like it's. Yeah, but then they You know, there be there, there, there should be no thread coming out at the end. They would never do this. I don't think these are. I don't think these are actually coach. No. I don't think these these are knockoffs. Uh, when you look at uh, go under coach side and you look at these. They don't make anything like this with those zippers on top. They make that exactly style with those zippers on the bottom here and with the double strap here, but they will not put the zippers on the upper part. Honey, get off. Um, like, you know, there, there should be no... Everything should be perfect when it comes to stitching, you know, with them. I mean... When I'm looking at that line, that doesn't look like it's 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 high end job, you know. I got you. Um, well, it could that just be was in my truck or something? No. Overall, when I'm looking at the stitching, you know, it's just. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be interested in the bag. Oh no! Why not? I found one for ten dollars and then two for twenty five dollars online. Mm -hmm. So it's just not a very good reseller. About yeah, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm gonna pass. No, on because these. we don't do good here, so it's only be if it's you know a higher end where I can put it online. Yeah, it would be a hard sale here. Sorry. Do you think they're not? I think. I think they are. Uh, what kind of trunk? Well, it's got it. I don't want to bring it in. It's in the van. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look at the stuff like this. It's going perfect, perfect here. All of a sudden, it splits up and does something like that. I mean, you know. When they're doing their stuff, it's it's almost like perfection, you know. So, yeah. And what, the biggest giveaway for me is why are these here when I can't find anything like that on their actual website? They they show their all their leather jackets, yeah. and there is this style, but actually that number when you punch in. Um, You're not getting anything. Or well, that exact number, nothing brings it up on their website. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's so much fake stuff coming yeah. out of China all the time now that it's crazy, especially like the higher end brands, you know, like the Gucci's, the Louis Vuitton's, it's all. On the other hand, this is a nice jacket, and this is, you know, the Ralph Lauren is legit. Yeah. You know, this is. They probably got ripped off on these three, then. I, I'm, I'm scared to say, 
Yeah. But I think you did. I mean, if you bought them online, man, it, it just, they, I mean, they look good, but I don't think they're legit, you know? So. Mm. Such a way, I guess. So. Oh, well. Uh, on this one, if you want, I can do like 45 bucks. 45? Mm -hmm. Can you do like 60 maybe? I think you could get a lot more for it. Uh, I mean, it's a used jacket. It's still in a great condition, but I'm, I'll bump it up to like 50 bucks. I don't want to go any higher. All right. So um, if, if you feel comfortable with that, I can do that. If not, I, I, I got to pass. I'll think about it, right? Okay. Yeah, right. no problem, my friend. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I wish they were real, you know, because if yeah. they are, there's some money to be made, but I don't think they are, man. So, okay. Oh, I can do it. I did see... Um, one with the zippers like that. She had, let me blow this up. And except different color. Her was uh, like a dark burgundy color. See these perforations on top here? They're done right here uh, on this wallet. There's only two dots that you're seeing at the upper part of that flower from Louis Vuitton design. Hers was almost complete on both sides um, see this little letter piece that you pull the zipper down with right there at the edge you can see the stitching coming off of the letter piece itself and then going around to hold this little clasp in place that was not on hers um, so these were two like main, main things that I was questioning. <clears throat> also, when I pull up, uh, I have two Louis Vuittons open here that are pre-owned, used. And when I bring up this picture and blow it up, it's exactly the same way that you got only two dots on top, two dots on top, all the way across. Hers wasn't like that. So every one of these, they make identical. And if you look at this piece, see that stitching going on here, going across, and also the edging, the finish area of the actual purse going all the way around. You know, Louis Vuitton will finish off the letter with like the red wax. Hers was extremely thin and just looking, I mean, it was looking good, but not as, as the original ones would look, you know? Um, the bag that she had, this bag, this lettering on that bag, it wasn't like perfect. Yeah, so I, the more I look on this now, I'm so glad that actually I passed on this. I don't think it was a, was an authentic Louis Vuitton, you know? And you know, I got a couple things, a couple things that happened. I know she was originally asking like three and four hundred dollars. And then at one point she says that she would take as low as, as two. So when somebody's dropping a price like that drastically, that raises a flag big time for me. Now she said, she said that she got this as a gift. So she doesn't know really too. It could have been a gift to her that somebody bought it somewhere at flea market or some goofy website that it's a complete knockoff. So I'm not blaming her that she didn't know, but I think it was not a real Louis Vuitton. Um, wallet what do you think Ryan what's your what's your opinion on it by everything that we kind of looked here I I think even if we thought it was real it's too risky yeah, to lose your account yeah see because what it is like I, I told her actually that it's very hard for me to sell something like this in a shop here we just don't have a right clientele that will spend six seven hundred dollars on a used wallet like this here, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And to put it on eBay and get it then authenticated and possibly lose your account because of it, not worth it. Not for a couple hundred bucks. There's, mm -hmm. yeah. So that concludes. <laughs> that concludes this video. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>